Today I'm going to show you guys a complete tour of my Impala. I'm going to show you guys what's in my trunk, um, my cassette tape collection, the actual inside of the car, and a little bit under the hood. Let's get started. Today we have a very special guest. <laughs> Introduce yourself. I'm Sam. I'm one of Courtney's best friends and I love Supernatural and the Impala like just as much as she does. Uh, we take Betty out on rides all the time, <laughs> and I'm really excited to be filming for her video today. Thank you, Sam. Well, we're going to start inside of the Impala. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is inside the glove box. It's very tricky to open, so hopefully it opens for you guys today. Whoa, that was special, okay. <laughs> in here, I have a map of the entire USA. I'm not gonna open it because it's huge and I won't be able to fold it back together. But I have the map and then I have a bunch of burner phones. <laughs> Sam and Dean's and probably some of John's. Just random little old cell phones. I thought that was a nice touch. I also have my cassette tape collection here. I'm gonna show you guys this more in depth in a second. And then I have my angel up here, the sale angel from Swan Song. This is one of my favorite things inside of the trunk. It's so special to me. It actually came with the car when I bought it, so I do not know where I got it from. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I have two Samulets here. I have two because they're both very special to me. <laughs> this Samulet is special because Sam actually got it for me. Do you want to tell the story, Sam? So like I wanted um, to do like a, not like a traditional pose with Jensen. And I said like, can you, can I put this around you while you make like a classic Dean face? And he said, sure. So basically Jensen graced out with like his presence. So that's why I gave to Courtney when she got the car. I cried. Cause it had to, <laughs> cause it had to be in here. <laughs> yeah, so that's the story behind this amulet. And this amulet kind of just came with the angel and that's what's holding it up. So this is very special to me as well. This is one of the other very good features about the Impala is I have my visor signed by some of the cast. <laughs> we have Alex Calvert, Misha Collins, Jared Padalecki, the love of my life, <laughs> Brianna Buckmaster, and then over here we have Kim Rhodes, Cliff Kosterman, which is their bodyguard, Jensen Ackles himself, and Mark Pellegrino. I definitely want to get more autographs on my visors, but this is what I have for now and I love them very much. The only other really important feature in the car is I have the little green army man in here. I love him a lot. He's not actually crammed in here like he can come out. I am trying very hard to get him to stay crammed in here so no one takes him out. <laughs> but this is what we have for now. I also wanted to show you guys that on my tires, I have this little bullet cap here, which I thought was a nice touch. My dad's friend Andy got them for me and I think it fits the car really nice. So this is on all four of the wheels and I like it a lot. I'm gonna show you guys everything in here separately. Just a quick look at it. 
Betty has a 327 engine and I'm gonna do a more in-depth video of just under the hood later but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like for now just so you have a general idea so now the part that you guys have all been waiting for I'm gonna show you Betty's trunk which I have this little key fob here that pops it open there's a little delay there I have this wonderful package that if you guys remember the episode in season six, you'll know what this is from. Let me open it up. It opens and it has the note from Samuel Colt. And then we have the Phoenix Ash. Can't go without that and Sam's thingamajig <laughs> from Samuel Cole. And that's what's in here. Let me put this back in an orderly way. It's kind of hard to shut this, so let me just make sure it's in there exactly and push it in. Okay, and then we have a crossbow, which you cannot use, <laughs> I promise but we have it and it's here. It's strong so you can't like pull it back and actually use it, which is a good thing. <laughs> and then this isn't normally in here, but I just got this Polaroid and I'm gonna take some pictures with Sam on it today, but I love it so far. Thank you, Nana. <laughs> and then we have some ammo cans back here. I'm just gonna pull out one because there's nothing in these, they're just kind of here. I don't have anything inside of them yet. I hope to someday. Let me move this. And then for car shows and things like that, I have the cardboard cutouts of Sam and Dean. I can put them out as long as it's not super windy or anything like that. But if it's windy, I kind of just have to keep them in here. Or I like fold them up so it looks like they're sitting in the seats, which is always funny. This is the first compartment that I have. I have the Esso Oil Gallon Can. I have their cigar box, which is a smaller version of the actual one, but it's all good. And then I have their fake FBI batches, which are amazing. Some passport cases, there's nothing in them because that will be illegal. They're, <laughs> they're just empty back in here and then we have the angel tablet which one side is the angel tablet and one side is the demon tablet you guys should guess in the comments which side is which <laughs> and then I have some burlap bags here for salt but they're just kind of sitting there for now I have a rosary in here I'll put this back I have this book, which isn't actually in the trunk in the show. I just kind of use it to write down where I got all of my items. It's not complete yet, but I'm working on it. It's a really cool book. And then, let's see. I have their Crossroad Deals tins, which this is one of my favorite things in this trunk actually, because they're such old tins and they're so cool looking. I don't have anything actually in the tins right now. I'm working on that. I don't even, this one does not even open because it's rusted shut, but this one does open. And then I have some salt rounds. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> and let's see. I have some syringes randomly around the entire trunk. This is um, actually a vintage lighter that looks like a phone. I thought that was really cool. Let me put this back in there in a nice way. And then let's move on to this compartment, 
We have the Indian Head Brake Fluid Tin. We have the Holy Oil Jug. I have Sam's Lockpick Set. Let's see if this is the right side to open it. Yep. <laughs> I have Dean's flask, which I do not have the cross to put on it yet, but again, working on it. And I have um, Winchester shotgun shells. I have some various jars of fake blood. I have some hex bags in here. Here's one. Here's another one there. And then if we move on to the next compartment, I have some Red Devil lighter fluid, which is literally perfect. I love this so much. More syringes, some holy oil in here, an angel blade, which is literally the best quality angel blade ever. It's really dirty right now because this is probably a lot of people's favorite prop and it's always touched <laughs> and used, but I love it a lot. We have a cowboy holster in here. <laughs> There's nothing in it right now. Um, some random jars, just in case I find other odds and ends to put in here. I have some vintage headphones, which I really appreciate. I thought they worked well in here. And then I have Bobby's glass right here, which I put a little Velcro on it so I can just shove it on there. And then if we move to the next section, I have the Purgatory Blade, which my stepmom got for me, and it is so badass looking. I freaking love this thing so much. It's got weight to it, and this feels like an actual freaking bone. It's crazy. Um, what else is cool over here? I have the Demon Killing Knife. I plan on getting a new one soon, because this one's kind of chintzy and made of plastic, but I still appreciate it. <laughs> I have... The key to Oz from my mom. I love it very much. She got it for me for Christmas and it looks really good in the trunk. I like it a lot. Um, some flashlights are in here. We have a canteen in here. More salt, shotgun shells. We have the key to the bunker, <laughs> which uh, Sam here broke on accident one time. That was fun. <laughs> Sorry. So it's kind of hard to open. But it's supposed to slide out like this and open up. And here you have the key to the bunker. Pretty special. Then we have, obviously, the journal here. John Winchester's journal. And then I have two flyers, which I appreciate. This journal is from Conquest Journals and it's literally perfect. I love it so much. I plan on one day maybe making my own journal but for right now, this is what I'm using. Ooh, I love this page so much. Yes, I have this. And then I have the Colt, which is beautiful. What else didn't I show in here yet? Ooh, the EMF meter, which actually works, which is pretty freaking awesome. Let me turn it on. It has a button on here to force an episode. <laughs> But if you actually walk around, sometimes it will go off on its own without you clicking the button, which scares me very much. <laughs> Let me turn it off. We have the first blade in here. Very nice. <laughs> the Desert Eagle, which this is not a real gun. Just a disclaimer, none of these guns in here are real. I would never do that. But it looks real, I think. It feels real, real. it's got a nice weight to it. I have a grappling hook in here. <laughs> Thought that added a nice touch. I have the Crossroad Deal contract, which I'm not going to open because it is huge and very hard to roll back up, but here it is. It's pretty awesome. And then around the entirety of the trunk, I have a bunch of random maps, like New Mexico, Arizona, what's this one? Montana, there's a bunch. I have a little wooden mallet in here and some wooden stakes, 
There's also an axe and this guy, which I'm <laughs> I'm not even gonna take out of the trunk because of how real it looks. There's literally not even anyone here, but it just scares me. But here we go. It's a very good replica. And then let's show the top up here. I have some a stag knife and a fillet knife up here. And then some brass knuckles, which are attached to the top of the trunk for very good reasons. <laughs> and then I have a little compass in here. I love this compass so much. It's so special. I'm gonna shut it back up. Put it back in here. And then I have more stakes and axes hanging off the bed. Some more fake guns, some knives, Bobby's flask again, another gun. And then I have this Ankh mirror. I think that's how you pronounce it. You guys look beautiful. <laughs> They've never used this in the show, but it's always just kind of been inside of the trunk. I hope they use it in season 15. Then I have a wooden cross here. And then I have this little bag that I put anti-possession charms in. I have a couple of these. If you ever see me in real life, I will give you one of these because I have quite a few in there. And then what else is left? I have this hanging up here, the dream catcher. This is not their dream catcher, but it works for now. I got this at Goodwill for like 75 cents. So it's doing the trick. And then I got a bunch of rosaries in here. Very nice. Most of the things that are in this trunk, my dad got for me and I'm very thankful. And I just love it so freaking much. I hope you guys enjoyed this trunk tour and actually this entire Impala tour. I pretty much showed you guys everything except like the specifics of what's under the hood, which I will do later. And then what else did I not show today? Oh my God, you're still filming. Oh you can just cut that out. Okay. Or not. <laughs> That's the end of the video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed the tour of Betty. And that's it. Goodbye! <laughs>